Chong Na Eun with a fantastic win over Zhang and Huang up at the top. They're going to be the pair that face either Chris and Sinboya or John Ko and Paul Sampron, but still in the mix. Feng and Huang, Watanabe, Higashino, Chen and Toe from Malaysia, and Lee and Eun as well. Let's welcome the players. Mixed doubles quarterfinals. Matthias Christensen and Alessandra Boye, Denmark. Versus Supa Jumko and Supisara Payusampan, Thailand. Court two. Well, as the mixed doubles take to the court, I can tell you that bottom half of that draw still playing out on court one. Feng and Huang, Watanabe Higashino, that's gone to three games. It's now 17-13 in the last game. So looking at the head-to-head -head here, Christensen and Boy leading 2-1. Last meeting was last week at the Thailand Open. And they're in a rich vein of form, the Danes. Having just taken out, of course, Dechapol, Pavaranu Crow, and Subsiri Tai Ratanachai in the last round. They're very much the number one mixed doubles pair for Thailand. Jean Cohen Paul Sampran, well, Christensen, 29 years old, born in Bornholm in Denmark. Ranked at 13 and has been as high as four with Christina Pedersen. As I said, they've been having a pretty good run of things so far this year. There is his partner in every sense of the word. Alexander Boyer, 23 years old, born in Horses, Denmark. And they were third at the Thai Open last week, but also won the Spain Masters quarterfinalists in India, which means they're searching for their third semi-final this year. And there's confirmation of it. Uh, it was Terry He and Jessica Tan, 63 minutes. And it was a tight game, 26-24, 22-20 in 51 minutes to get past Tetrapol and Subsiri. And they lasted that out. And Supak Jompro, 26 years old. Nakon Rachisma in Thailand. Wonderful place. Strawberry Fields. Highest ranking 10th with his current partner, Supisara Porsampran. There is Subisar, 23 years old, Nakon Patom, and together, they've um, won some international challenge titles in the Paul International Slovak Open, the Paul International twice, in fact, and that's their run to this quarterfinal. Mares and more, 50 minutes. Gikel and Del Rue in 39 minutes, and that is a result indeed but still looking for their first World Tour title, this pair. Chomko, of course, uh, umpire for this one, Alexander Olenikov. And our service judge, Zhang Xiying. A lot of versatile players. Supak Chomko, also a men's doubles player, of course, you'll remember with Kitten Nupong Kedrin is his partner, ranked 32 in the world there. And on the other side, well, Alexandra Boy, of course, women's doubles with Amelie Magalund and mixed doubles, Matthias Christensen, but definitely a focus being on the mixed doubles. can say that Kim Won Ho and Jong Na and I watched that match earlier. Uh, they were in amazing form. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Supak Jomko and Supi Sara, Paiwa Sampran, Thailand. And on my left, Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Böje, Denmark. Alexandra Böje to serve. To Supak Jomko, 
Love all. Play. So underway. Scream that you're hearing is also from the mixed doubles category. Watanabe and Higashino progressed past Feng and Huang. And semi final berths really filling up. Hold. Two. Love. Deep serve catches out John Cope. Three. Love. And the Danes go three up. Again, it's quick movement. Four. That's what it's all Love. about. Too quick that time for over. Alexander Boyer. One, four. Two, four. Oh, too much of a stretch for Christensen. Maintaining this good three point lead. Six, two. Make that four. Seven, two. Points falling fast here, 10 points in two minutes. Service over, three, eight. But it really is so important in the mixed doubles game to have that ability to play at speed. Awkward shot for Alexander Four, Boyer. Eight. Matthias, ready to receive. Oh, she was ready for that. Alexandra. Step back Four. and then stepped into it. Again, the deep serve. Again, it works. Ten. Four. Oh, as quickly as that. Four minutes in, and we're almost at the mid game interval in the first game. Over, five, ten. 
pressure on Jomko. Christensen finds the angle right down the middle, and it's a very quick 11-5. Good lead, good start for the Danish pair. Finally get a little bit easier in that match against Dechapon Sapsiri already. in the challenge coming but it looked clearly in challenges called in oh while we wait for that perhaps John Cohen for some front need to take a leaf out of their compatriots books start really pressuring the one thing about Dutch horn sub Siri you have to say in every one of their matches that they play is they are very fast out the blocks and the earliest Correction, opportunity out. Well, that's out Service over. Dechapol always 11. jumping up and Play. looking for that big aggressive smash. We haven't seen that from Jomko yet, and he has to really step up. There's one. It's good from Osampran. 7, 11. Good hustle from Christensen. Well, seven. Again, nicely nicked in there by Supisara. For Samprin. They're beginning to cut into that lead. It's a great start from the Danes. And now the Thai pair beginning to find their feet a little. That's very nice for Christensen, though. Service over. 13, 8. More power from Christensen, knowing exactly where to hit as well. Body shot, and they're back on course. These have really been the hallmarks of this great run that they've had over the last couple of months. Good pressure, good tempo. Service over. 9, 15. Wonderful from Christensen. He's really on the ball today. Over 16, 9. Well, I guess the right turn would be on the shuttle. Well, either way, point is clear. He's making the difference here in this first game. Again, great shot down the line. He's looking for these winners. He's found another one. 17, 9. Oh, 
last couple of points, Alexander Boy has been really more of a threat, deterrent, guarding parts of the court, and leaving space for a partner to come through with the big winners. Not bad time, though. 18, 9. Move ahead, 18-9. Almost uncontested in this first game. Service over. 10, 18. A glimmer of hope, perhaps. Job going for Sampro in this first game. That's gone wide. 11, 18. Out. Service over. Well, that's Nine, not team. ideal. 11. That's nice from John Cole. And in fact, that it's exactly the kind of attack and it's going to do 12, them 19. a lot of good if they can execute it more and more. Stroked across the net tape by Paul Samperin. All out defense for the Danes and Alexander Borre can't keep it in. 13. 19. Oh, that's Seven costly. Over. 20. So, seven game, game point. points. 13. Twenty-one, thirteen. So far, no foreseeable game, problems. One by Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Deye. For Christiansen and Boye. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Well, back on court. And for Jomko and so Paul Sampra, and that really did feel like a lightning first game. It just whizzed past them. They're going to have to make a stand. Start controlling more of these Second points. Second game. Love all. Play. And what's really important is, of course, they have to disarm Matthias Christensen, who's been the big weapon on the other side of the net. And I guess you could add to that. One. Not Love. make any mistakes from this drifty side of the court.
Almost for Supisara. Two, love. Good defense from Boya, but not enough. She's still finding a range. Some good reactive defense, though. It's a great return from John Cope. Exactly how you disarm Christensen. Flat returns to open court. Definitely being a little bit more aggressive now, the tight pair, but they're going to have to tighten up that game. That's so good. Over. Four, three. Like it. Three. First lead of the match for them. Hey. Great serve as well. Six. Three. My tears. Come to me. You need to return the shuttle properly. Play. Frustration being shown by Christensen that that is over. Four, whether that was six. caught by the drift or not, it's a tough break for John Cope. Good combination. That is over. Four. Well, I said they had to make a stand, and that's exactly what they're doing. Jomko now taking the lead. Adding a bit of fuel behind these attacks. Right down the middle. Just flying by the outstretched racket Four. of Christensen. Great run. Eight four. Again, reactive, but too high from Boyer the return. And Jonko oh. is now doing exactly what was missing from that first game. He's the big power. Gets a really steep angle on that as well. To spark into life. Service is over. Five, nine. Oh, what a 
shot to the corner. Great angle. Six, nine. Very flat as well. Well done, Christensen. It's gone too long though. Service over. Ten. Six. Nice. Over. And Boy at the back line. Seven. Ten. Oh. And there's that angle. That's what he was doing in the first game. Third or fourth shot, just finding that long angle through the opposition. He's left that, he's left that well. On wide errors beginning to creep into Jomko and Posampran's game, and they've tied it up at 10 apiece. And the danger level is now back on. Oh, body so shots coming in left and 11. right. So, John Cohen and Posampran go in 11 10 up at the mid game interval in the second. But there is still a lot of work to be done. Their lead has been eroded to one. Eleven, ten, play. Service oh. over. Quick off the serve again. Eleven, all. And Christensen and Boy just seem to have the edge in those tight exchanges. That's good work from Jomko. Christensen with the high lift to settle things down. Hard control definitely there with the tie pair. So it's over. 12, 11. from Christensen and it very forward. difficult to pick up well all. well they're keeping pace with the score and this of course is going to benefit them being one game up really it's all about Jomko and Posampran to start asking the serious questions in the second game if not they're going to find themselves in a very difficult situation about five or six points they keep leveling up that's gone long. 
13, 12. That's exactly what happened if you think about it to Detchborn sub series with such tight score lines. They just kept pace, sneaked up on them right at the end of the games. Leave it that high to a man the size of Matthias Christensen. That's what's coming back. an important point 14. for Christensen and Boyer. They were just building a good lead. Now they've let John go and so Paul Samperon back into it. So it's over. Now they're feeling 15, it. 15, 13. Just long. So this over. He'd be proud of that 14, angle that he found. And that 15, would have been a great shot had he got it. Lobbed it over both of his opponents. But found the corner. That would have been exceptional. Suspiciously, like it was going out, and that point just speeding up. Tied it up, all. 15 all. Okay. Still, as Line I judge, said, this benefits the, court, the Danes. Line judge, wipe the court, please. As great as it must feel to win that point, level it up. In the center. Well, in the center. Christensen and Boya just six points away from ending yeah. this. And that's got to be playing on the minds of Jomko and Paul Samperin. Again, it was very, very high, but 16, 15. Christensen nets his reply. This was really, if you think about it, open court for him when it came back that high. Get ready. Sampron scuttling back, hoping she can take the brunt of what was going to come, but it never came. That's more like it from Christensen. Service over. 16, all. Lift from Boyer. Pounced on. Jumped on for Samper. 17, 16. Smart play by Sukisara there to reset her position midpoint.
exception there by Christensen. 17 all. And this is the exact situation I was talking about. They know they're four points away from the semi final. Chomko and Pulsampra, and well, they're at 25 points away from that semi final. Entirely different psychological proposition. Service over. Just think about 18, it one 17. point at a time. Subak, so yes, sir. Play by Samprin. 19. He's very 17. apologetic about that body shot. That's another great interception by Christensen. So he's over. Wow, 18, this is getting tight. 19. Christensen moving forward, trying to get that kill shot into defensive work right now. Oh, that's brilliant from Supisar. And they've so got themselves over. two game points. 20. Change of shot. 20. Third in deciding point. game, 18. perhaps. Okay. Made their attack at just the right time. Long. That's one save. Service over. 19, 20. Well, if this goes to extra points, and that really is the situation I was talking about, is John Cohen for Sampron will be fighting for game points, and Christensen and Boy will be fighting for match points. It all depends on this point. Oh, it's deep. Game. It's great. 21-19, and they have avoided the Second spectre game, of extra one points. Subak Jamko and Supi Sara, Fayewell Sampran, 21-19. One game going on. to a third. Game on. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. So here we go. The deciding game. They left it late, Jomko and Posampran, but it doesn't matter. They've leveled it up one apiece. And Final now game. It's Love all. 
back to 21 points for each of Play. them if they want to get to the semi-finals. That was close. John Corn for Sampran, no doubt about it. One, love. And that's a great serve to kick it off. On the Two, fly. One. Well, that's the most developed rally that we've seen so far, and in the end, it's Sara or Sampran one. that comes up with the winning angle. Oh, they really did look up against it for most of that second game. Yeah, two point lead already. Sampran with the early attack. That's gone wide. there John Cope three all four three now edging ahead patchy phase of play for the last two points could have gone either way really Continues. Service over. Four. Oh. It's alternating based on mistakes. <laughs> That's another great push by Jomko. And if you think about it, Jomko and Posampo really, they did Five. through shot making Four. alone create this third game and a chance for them. But it's gonna really be about consistency if they can keep the pressure on. If they're gonna triumph here. It's a mistake there by Boyer, it's gone long. Six, four. Six, five, oh, five, six, really. Five, six. <laughs> Boy, you're pushing forward and just enough to force the error. Six, six all. all.
That's good from John Cope. Won control of the point. Good pressure from Boyer. Enough to force the error. 7-6. Seven, 7-6. Six. Seven, six. Longest rally of the match so far. In the third game. Testament to how much both players want this, or both pairs. Another flat exchange. Jomko with the attack this time. Service That's too over. much to bear. Seven, all. Well, on course for a grandstand finish right now. So it's over. Quick. Still. Eight. Whether oh. it's nerves. Or whether it's. Players stepping up individually. Get ready. Still nothing to differentiate them at eight all. Getting towards the third and final mid-game interval. The coaches, I'm sure, are going to have some insights as to what they should do for the last section of this third game. Meanwhile, Christensen with a good cross court and that one in the altitude. Nine, eight. And the height to fire off that winner well played well constructed point So, Thank nine you. all, still nothing to separate these two pairs. Christensen and Boy is so dominant in that first game. Jomko and Posampra and stealing the second game right at the death. But in this third game, it's all square. Oh, that's a nice, very nice return from Christensen. Sneaky into the corner. Nine. Took that from behind him. It's actually, he was facing sideways when he took that. It was an impressive shot. And mistake there, and it's 11 9. Nine. Interval change ends. Well, that's another unorthodox way of returning the shuffle, that has to be said. But I think because it's at the end of a phase of play, he's going to get away with it. 11 9 to the Danes. Seconds, 
four, two, 20 seconds. So here we go, final conclusion in this third game and match. Great idea from Jomko, just didn't have enough on it. Well, nine. And that's given the early advantage to Christian Silimboya. This two point lead is going to be significant. I'll make that a three point lead. Service over. 13, 10. That was wonderfully picked up by Paul Samperin. Christensen in the end that puts too much pressure on him, but that really was a great ten. lateral run by Paul Samperin to pick that up. That would have been a winner from Boyer. Well, they are powering ahead now. 15-10. 15, 10. 10. Five points ahead, six needed. Well, Samperin and Jomko have some work to do in these next two points. Just a snatch him with the opportunities. 16-10. Chance 11, for them here. 16. They have to make the service work. And that's a start. Once again, getting some altitude in his smash. Matthias, don't influence to the service judge. 13, 16. Oh, Matthias is getting a lot of. Use your foot. Talking to us from the umpire. First, it was returning the shuttle. Now it's okay. influencing the Line service judge. judge. Wow. Line judge, line judge, line judge. Didn't really see enough of that to make a conclusion myself, but I'm sure if the umpire saw something worth talking about, they generally act on it 13 16, 16 possibly the most important service of the match for Jomko and Paul Samperin that was a good serve Got control of the point found the open court 14, claim that point 16 it's a great thing about that deep serve immediately gives you the chance to jump on the control
was intercepted beautifully by Christensen. Service over. 17, 14. Killed immediately. Christensen that's coming to the fore just at the right time. 18 14. 14. Things once again getting tight for John Cohen for Samprin. points behind isn't too bad but I can't make any mistakes from now on <laughs> that is 16, a huge 18. sigh of relief for the Thai pair as Boa just misjudging his lunge. Oh, that was great from Christensen. Careful, careful is the way to do it. 19, 16. Two points away now. Well, what's Get more ready. important that that was some smart play from Christensen. The last two points now really forced the issue. They've got the serve back. Being careful about it. Here comes the big shots. All hands on deck defending. Oh, it's in. Crucial point for John Cohen for Sampra. Not surprised the challenge is coming. Looked in. Is in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 17, 19. Go out and go here. And here is a pretty clap on the floor of the floor. Play. Played by the Thai pair. They're edging closer, and this 90. really is looking like it might end up in a grandstand spectacle of finish. Both pairs carefully thinking about each point now. How to execute, keeping it flat, making sure they have control. Oh, and that's Christensen that's given. Him and his partner, the first match 20, points. Match point, 18. Two of them. And it really is up against the wall stuff now for Tromko and Paul Samprin. Back on court, players. Got to keep it calm. Danes defending, that's gone long. 
which means that's Three one of those over. match points saved. 19, 20. Well, it was like this at the end Six. of the second game, but now, of course, there are no extra games. There is no fourth game. In badminton, this is it. Down to the wire. One more match point to save, and it gets to extra points, and both of them will be fighting. Final for Christensen and Foyer, their third this year for Jomko and Posampra and their second. It's a great serve from Posampra. Full game. Well, they put the fault in, and they've done it. In the end, it was so close. But they've made that semi-final. 21-13, 19-21, 21-19, minutes. What a performance. Really good, incisive play from Christian Silimboya. And they're now going to face the daunting prospect of Kim Won-ho and Jong na -un, but really they can think about that a little bit later on. Right now, it's about enjoying this victory. And giving the fans a couple of rackets Match as well. Won by Matthias Christiansen. And that is a great Alexander gift to get. If you've come to watch 30, the badminton. 19, 21, 21, 19. And there's confirmation of it, 21-13, 19-21, 21-19, 21-19, Christian Sinemboya into the semi-finals. So looking at the full results here on quarterfinals Friday. Well, this is, it was Nang and Wang against Ben Lane and Sean Bendy. That was straight sets, straight games for them. That was followed by the women's doubles. Beikana and Lee Sohi with a long match, 80 minutes to come over uh, Matsuyama and Shida and make it through. Women's singles off that Chen Yu Fei with uh, 38 minute destruction of Super Nita Katatong. And then it was a classic in the mixed doubles. Zheng Shi Wei and Huang Ya Shong bested the number one seeds in 40 minutes by Kim Won Ho and Zhong Na En, who are all over the court. That was followed by women's doubles, Li Wen Mei and Liu Zhuan Zhuan, with a 49 minute straight games win against Matsumoto and Nagahara. Tai Tzu Ying then put on a badminton display against the fifth seed, Hei Bing Zhao. Straight games in 34 minutes there, 21-16, 21-11. And then it was two tough matches. First, Anders Antonsen fighting back from one game down against Lee Chia Hao. 58 minutes it took him, but he's through to the semis. And then his compatriots, Christensen and Boya against John Cohen for Sampran. 57 minutes, also dropped a game, but came back in style. And they're through to the semis as well. And that rounds off the coverage from court two here tonight but do con uh, do follow our continuing coverage of the singapore open 2023 it all kicks off at uh, 12 p.m local time tomorrow for now it's good night